Hey guys, welcome back to SandVFX and we're back from the part 4 of iPhone 6 modeling tutorial and this is where we left in the part 3. Mm, we had some problems uh, as well as um, we need to create some more segments for these tasks here. So we'll do that in this part here. Okay, the first one we got the problem was this piece right here which uh, we didn't, it created some undesired result while adding the turbo smooth smoothing it out you can see there are these shafts we want them to be round enough so in order to fix that we're going to just go ahead and then let's see what we can do uh, let's see okay I'll just I just want this uh, piece right there so I'll just go ahead select this loop here and then let's go do the same thing on the bottom as well and I'm just gonna control backspace to delete that Okay, and what I'll do is select uh, these four here, maybe these here, and scale them a little bit. Okay, and a little bit in one as well to make it a little more round. You know, I mean, I mean, just pull them down as well. Okay, that should be good. Not to turn this into a quad. Uh, it should be pretty easy. Uh, let's go ahead and go to cut tool and turn on the angle snap as well. I'm going to turn on the vertex so it will be easier for me to cut. I hope the cut tool won't give us any problem here. Okay, that's good. That's fine, I think that should work now. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, we got a circle now. That's a lot better. Okay, now we need to uh, work with these, uh, uh, what do you say, uh, supportive edges. Now let's go to edges there. And I want to go to constraint A and turn on edge constraint first. And let me just check all of these edges here. I'll just uh, scale that out just a touch because we have a bit of a chamfered A's on the uh, real iPhone there. Uh, turn back to non constrained and maybe pull this out a bit. I'm sorry. Turn off the snap as well and pull this out a little bit. So that how we create that uh, chamfered A's there and we're just going to need uh, some support A's for that as well to connect two and that should be good and I'm gonna create one more here uh, ring and connect not two only one slide it up somewhere around 95 or 96 okay we want them to be pretty tight there let's see here if that's good press F4 to get rid of the yeah it's good let me turn bump the iteration up yeah that's look, that looks really good we're gonna do the same thing on all of them so turn off the uh, nerve service division and press F4 to get the eased faces. Select this one here, just pull that outside a bit. Okay, and then select all of the inner one and pull them out. Okay, and we can just go ahead and select this one here. Oops, sorry. This we need to zoom in, select this one here, ring and do connect. Two edges and we need to somewhere around 73 uh, 78 or 80 that's it again so like this one here and do a ring connect only one this time no slide no pinch and only slide somewhere around 97 okay and do the same thing here as well okay and so We could have done that in the first place. Um, that sh that would have been more easier, but we forget to do that, so we have to do this way now. Okay, let's do a ring connect and do two segments. Make sure you try to get um, the size of the chamfer aids as close to the others, so that it won't look too bad. I can just do the two segments, uh, that would be pretty okay. That should be good. Yeah. Same thing here as well. And, okay, uh, that should be good. Now let's go kill that out. And this 
one here can be a bit of a problem there. So we have to do that. What I'll do is let me just go to face, select these two here, and grow. Get those. Let me just shrink it once, and then I'll just scale them inside just a touch. Okay, and only on the y-axis now. Okay, that should be good. And then select these edges here and pull them up. You can see it's not uh, proper there, but we'll fix that. Uh, we'll just pull these out a bit and these one as well. Just these sides. And okay, if you don't have a circle, you have a kind of oval. Uh, you, when you scale it from all directions, it's not going to be uniform um, the way we want it. So we're going to do something manually as well. So to ring, connect, and two of them reduce that maybe. Something like 69. This one here. Ring, connect. Pinch, 94, something like that. I'll just quickly uh, do it on all of them and come back again so let me pause the video uh, okay I'm not done yet and uh, just I want to show you something that you can just select this loop and just do a good chamfer as well and you don't want to go two way otherwise that's gonna be you can see a really on uniform and it's gonna be bad maybe something around what we need and this should work pretty well as well and that'll be pretty fast okay it's having some problem here okay, let me just you know, we just need only a few amount, so okay, that should be good. And do the same thing. Uh, ring and then connect. Okay. That's also way you can do it. Okay, so that'll be a faster way. But you could not uh, do that in this one here. I'm not sorry, in this one here. That that will give us some unde undesired result. and do connect okay do the same thing here I'll just select all of them quickly and do a chamfer okay and you can see here this is not so uniform in this one so I'll just get rid of that and just do a chamfer here and select uh, everything select one segment from there uh, here, and do a ring and do a connect Okay, now just our uh, last one here, and for that I'll just do the same all the way that we did. So this one, pull this up. It's still not so uniform. Maybe we can just pull this in, maybe that way. And just a touch. Uh, pull this up. Yeah, the circle looks a little bit. Off, but that's okay. Uh, do a ring. Uh, it won't be noticed as we smooth that out. Do a connect. Okay, that's good. Let's go ahead and turn on the inner surface division to see what it looks like. Press F4. Yeah, that looks good. Everything are now sharp and smoother. Yeah. Pretty well. well let me modify this. Uh, Headphone jack here, um, 3.5mm connector there, and for that just let's go to the face here, select these faces on top, you can just straighten them out by scaling it on G direction, uh, I can maybe do a quick insert, not too much, you can see we have really small faces there so it will be a problem there, just do a little bit and just um, you can just go ahead with the scale. Just pull this up a bit and then again do a extrude. Uh, just want to give it some uh, little bit of the effect there. Not necessary actually, but that's better to give it that way. Maybe. Okay. Just so that if we see something inside there, it will not look flat open there. <laughs> but most probably we won't be able to see the inside part there. Okay, so that should be good. For once again, okay, and that looks really good. And we're done with all of this stuff there.
Okay, now we're done with this much. Let me go ahead and have a look at some of the reference images there. Let's see here. Okay, we have uh, one more piece right here in this connector there. Oh, we need to get that now. Okay, let's go here. To get that, uh, rather than creating another separate piece, we're just going to utilize this piece here from here. Let's go grow. Okay, that should be good. Let me just uh, extrude it on the local normals. Maybe just inside. Yeah, that's good. And that size looks decent as well. Just tick OK and let me grow it once again and I'm just going to detach it. Detach. OK. Let me just get that piece. Control Alt Q and once again. And that's, you can see that. What I'll do is select this border right here and pull that up. Okay, that's good. And I'm just gonna go to edges, select this edge here, and do a quick chamfer. Okay, do a plus to do it once again, so, so that'll be kind of like a supporting edges as well. Okay, do the same thing on the edges as well, but we don't want too much of chamfer. We just want to do it once and a small one, and that should be good can do it two segments maybe okay let me exit the isolation mode by pressing the alt key again and let's zoom in there by pressing the Z key it should look good when smooth enough okay and to smooth this one as well press F4 okay that looks good let me just pull this one out a bit as well maybe let me go to hierarchy and affect people on center to object so that the gizmo will be right on the object there. Maybe somewhere around there. And that looks good. We need to create uh, two screws right here, so in order to create that, let me just um, hide these for a while. Um, hide selection. Let me press G key on my keyboard to get this grid here, and I'm just going to create the screw here and then position it later on so let's go ahead and you know to create the screw now we need a plus head there so we're gonna go with a box uh, that may sound crazy but that's okay we need the plus loop uh, in our object there so in order to get that we need to go ahead with the box so you'll understand what I'm talking about later on so I'll just go by 40 40 40 square box and you press F4 let me add in a turbo smooth here uh, two times yeah maybe three times that's good now you can see we get this plus loop here that's what I was talking about okay now let me just scale this up a little bit and then convert it to an editable poly and the, the first half select uh, these four faces there and just scroll up to that that's that should be good and I'm just gonna straighten them out maybe or maybe I just shrink it once and then straighten that one uh, make planner on Y oh sorry on Z maybe yeah that's on Z and pull this down I think I'll just do one more uh, grow and do a uh, Okay, that we get a round object with a flat surface there. That looks good, and we're just gonna create a hole, which is gonna make our plus sign there. Maybe go that way up too. And select this side as well. Okay, and just. Insert it. Let's want to do a quick insert. Insert. Just a little bit. And I'll just scale it down. That's good. And I'll just extrude it down. Somewhere around there, that should be good. Go to ages. Set these ages, these two ages here. Okay, I can't set the bottom one. 
So I'll go with the top one and do a quick chamfer. Reduce the amount there. Do a plus. Well, I think I did it twice maybe. Let me just undo it quickly. Okay, I'll just do a chamfer once again now. Reduce the amount. That's how you create the screw head. You can just add in a cherry smooth on this one. That should look good now. Go with two iterations. That's too much faces for a small detail, so we can just go with one there. Okay, four. Yeah, that looks good. Let me just add in a smooth modifier to do the auto smooth to get some undesired faces there. I think we need one support at the bottom as well, so let's get back to the edit poly there and press F4. We'll set this as here, do a ring and do a connect. Okay, and pull that down. Do one more maybe and do a connect. Okay. And that's better. We can just do this smooth there. That looks good. That's a small deal, so we don't have to have this to be too detailed. So I can just unhide all now and just take this screw on the bottom here, scale it down and flip it on the G axis maybe. Yeah, no copy. We can scale that down a lot. Pull it down here. Let's see. We need to fit this in that hole there. Let's go to the bottom view maybe. That will be easier for us. Okay, just fit this in this hole there. Okay, increase the size a little more. Okay, pull this up inside. One thing I think I'll do is, let me just isolate this one quickly. And let's go to Edit Poly, press F4 here, and then what we'll do, I don't know. I think I need this one to be pretty straight and up. And it's kind of like bulged right now. So what can I do for that? Maybe just go ahead and straighten this out first. And on the G axis maybe, yeah? G this one as well on the G, this one on the G, okay? And let me go to the front view here, and I'm just gonna match them up quickly, straight on the straight line. off the isolation and that looks good maybe scale it just a bit more yeah Pull this up yeah we need to duplicate this now to the other side as well Now one thing we missed uh, earlier is the sim tray and we need to get that done as well and let me see where is the sim tray in the reference here. Uh, it's on this side here, right at the bottom, okay. Face right there. Let's go down here, turn off the subdivision, and we'll just 
like the same technique that we used before. Let's get these right there and uh, grow them. Like that. Okay, and just hold down the shift key and pull it down. Okay, and then clone to object. Okay. That's better there. Uh, I may need to pull it even more down. And just go to vertex and pull this down as well. You know, it's a little longer. The same tree are a little longer, you know that. Okay. Let's go here. Maybe I'll pull this one up as well a little bit. What you can do is you can use uh, another blueprint on the right side to get that exact size of that um, seam tray there, but um, this should be okay for now. I'll just keep that. I'll just uh, eyeball this one and just um, try to match it up and this should be good uh, the only thing you need to know is the technique how to create that okay so let's go ahead and cut the hole in here get these pieces off well we need one segment at the bottom here turn off the screen that's uh, confusing me okay I'll just select these edges here and do a connect only one this up right here okay and that way I can just go ahead and select these faces here delete them I just need now some more aces here take this one and do a connect to there we could go all the way around maybe yeah we can go all the way around connect and then Okay, pull this up. Yeah, that's good. One more at the bottom here. Do a ring here. This side. Do a ring. Do connect. Yeah, pull this down. Now let me just attach them together. And just can um, weld them. Weld these vertices there. Make sure nothing is taken at the back, and just uh, weld them together. We can go to the uh, right view from here, maybe that'll be easy for us. That's the hole for the sim tray there. Let's go and see. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, that looks the decent size as well. If you want it a little more bigger, you can just select all of these line here and you can just pull them down. That way you can create it a little longer. Okay, I'll just make it a little longer maybe. Okay, that's good. Now that's done, uh, let me turn off the isolation mode and see what we have done till so far. Uh, everything looks pretty good. Well, the man is there. Yeah, that looks good. We have the holes uh, in places. And we need the home button. Yeah, we'll do that. Don't worry. Let's see the size here. It's maybe off positioned or maybe it's killed up. We need to just go to the pulley here, press F4. I think I'll just pull them down. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Everything looks pretty good till now. Okay, now that we have uh, created all the necessary holes and we, we're done with the tough parts now. Now we just need to create these buttons here 
and the sim tray uh, closing for the sim tray uh, the power button here and the home button as well as the uh, inside display or you can say the main screen as well and the back camera and flash stuff okay so um, we'll do that in the next part so thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next part have a good day